Okay, I'm going to be testing the uh, voltage drop across a contactor on this machine. And right now I've got the machine off. We're showing 244 volts are available. And when I start this thing, the contactor, which is right here, is going to close. When it closes, I'm going to measure the voltage drop across those contacts. That's what this meter is set right here across this thing. So it's going to test how much voltage drop there is and then we'll calculate the silly thing. Okay, now we're showing two one hundredths of a volt voltage drop across there. Now generally we figure if we got two tenths of a volt across a contactor it's about ready to die. Now you can see as you look at this thing, we're going to get a little closer in there. See those contacts have got some black around them, but there's no discoloration of the bar across here, that little copper bar. These contacts are in good shape. Two one hundredths of a volt, no problem. I would not replace this contactor. It's operating normally. Okay, now I've set up an ammeter on that same wire that's going through that contactor on this uh, heat pump. And we're going to see what the amp draw is. Okay, we're going to call out about 13.8, so now we're going to go do the calculations. Okay, after uh, taking our measurements out there, I just wanted to kind of illustrate this. We had 13.8 amps across the contacts. We had two hundredths of a volt across the contacts, voltage drop. Multiply those two together and we get the number of watts that are dissipated in the contacts. And it's 0.276 watts. I can also multiply this times 3.41 BTUs per watt and give us the number of BTUs that are actually dissipating in these contacts. Now this is not significant. Uh, it's less than one BTU, so these contacts are good. This would have been doubled if this amperage was doubled and of course tripled if it was uh, three times. So this could get significant if I had a high enough amp draw. Now for the most part I think two one hundredths of a volt on most contactors is easily dissipated. Now I'm going to make another little calculation here that if I had ten times the voltage drop, in other words I had two tenths of a voltage drop across the contacts there would be 9.4 BTUs dissipated in the contacts and that's significant and could cause a contact failure. So I've done the calculations here, the only difference is a 0.2. That means in a contactor I am going to have to dissipate 9.4 BTUs. So I would, uh, I would judge, and there's not a whole lot of information on this that I can find, I would judge that if I had two tenths or two one hundredths or four one hundredths drop across a set of contacts, I would not be concerned about the contacts. However, if I got one or two tenths of a volt across the contacts, that could be significant because this will they, they will burn up if you get too many BTUs going across these things. They, there's not a whole lot there to dissipate the heat. One other way to test these things is to get you one of the uh, infrared uh, point and click uh, thermometers and if you take that thermometer and put it right over the contacts you should be able to read the heat of the contacts and I'll explore that in another video